Welcome back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Y'all, the phone numbers are in the description box below. Just hit show more. It should open up. The uh, phone numbers are there and they are to the White House switchboard. Call those numbers every day. Blow them numbers up. Chew their ears off and don't be nice. Tell them what we need. And also let them know that in November, they could be out of a job. Y'all, I know on the surface, the $2,000 stimulus check does not look likely. But we'll just have to wait and see. Personally, I still feel confident it will happen. The good people in America has had enough. And we're on the brink of the breaking point. And the politicians know that. And they know their jobs are on the line. I just, I feel like we will get it. Y'all please stay tuned till the end of the video. I've got some announcements about this channel going forward. And I don't want y'all to miss it. Monica Car Carley talked about unemployment. She said the next stimulus check will be based on the unemployment numbers and they will be looking over that in the next two to three weeks to determine if we need another stimulus check. Okay, first of all, the unemployment numbers are all flawed because take for instance, we'll just say Jim Bob. He had a job. He was like the head chef of a restaurant. That restaurant closed. Now Jim Bob don't have a job. He's on unemployment. Jim Bob is a proud man. He don't want to be on unemployment. He would rather work. So the job opened back up. But did it really open back up? They called him back, not as full time, not as making $20, to $20 an hour, what he was making. But they called him back for three shifts a week and for making $11 an hour. Now, like I said, Bob, Jim Bob is a proud man, so he takes it. But is that really a real job now? Yeah, he goes and punches the time clock, but he's not making nothing like the money he was making before. So therefore, it still looks like on unemployment that he got a job back, but did he really? Or did he just get something to do? Y'all, the unemployment numbers are flawed. They count you going back to work as you got a job. But you're not making the money you was making before. You're not getting the hours you was before. So in my, in my eyes, that don't count. French Hill. He said, right now, the PPP program has $444 billion just sitting there, not allocated to anyone. Congress is wondering what to do with this money. Hmm. How about using it to go towards the stimulus package for the people that needs it? Problem solved. I solved the problem for you. That's what you do with it. And Congress and the senators, they're supposed to be the smart ones. Y'all, I, I was thinking about President Trump. Why does he look like when he's talking? He's so stern with his words and He's so sure of himself that he's still going to get reelected. Why does he feel this way? And then it hit me. I remember back when he first started campaigning, he came to Pensacola, Florida. In front of our civic center where he was going to speak at, there is two major highway overpass 
out front. And underneath the overpass, people have spray painted all their anti-Donald Trump slogans, all their hate to, for Donald Trump. Before he got there, the city sent, spent, I guess it was a city, it could have been a state, I don't know. They spent thousands of dollars painting the underside of that overpass so he would not see that. They protect him from a lot of the hate that's out there for him. Of course, he still sees the regular media because he talks about the media all the time. But from what we, the people, are saying, as in painting slogans for him to see, he don't see that stuff. He's protected. So maybe he don't know how we feel. We don't know. It just all depends on how much are they shielding from him. Y'all, I'm not, I'm not trying to defend Donald Trump. He has made a lot of mistakes. He has done a lot of good, though. Uh, but I'm still sticking to my guns. If we don't get a stimulus check, he won't get my vote. My vote is for sale to the highest bidder. To the one that wants to help us the most. And right now, it don't look like anybody wants to help us. Sure, Nancy Pelosi has demanded large stimulus, but it's too large. We all know that. And she's got her hidden agenda behind it anyway. So is she helping us or is she trying to help herself? Both sides are crooked. Both sides are evil. I still feel like come November, we need to do a, a clean sweep and get rid of all of them. Only time will tell about that. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about the future of my YouTube channel. When this pandemic first started, I stated that I would be making videos every day. And I'm sticking to that. I'm going to still make videos every day. I enjoy making them. And I wish it would be on a better subject than what it is, but it is what it is. But going forward, when all this pandemic stuff is over, now we know we're going to feel ripple, ripple effects from it for the next couple of years. And I will make videos every day until it's completely done. But after that, I'm going to go back to my regular content, which is starting online business, personal finance, and now I'm going to talk about building a YouTube channel because I've built a pretty good YouTube channel here. So I hope y'all stick around for that. I know that when all this is over and I go back to my regular content, I will lose a lot of subscribers because most people are here for the pandemic, for the stimulus stuff. I understand that and I accept that, but I hope you will stay. Y'all make these videos every day. They're released at 6 o'clock in the morning. I hope you'll come back every day and leave your comments. I do read them all. I cannot answer them all. It's just too many of them. But I do read them all and I cherish them all. And I got two more pieces of mail today too. Uh, Monica uh, sent me a nice letter. And uh, Wallace sent me some Christian materials. Y'all, the stuff that y'all send me, I will cherish it forever and I will keep it forever. I've got a box that I'm putting it all in and I do appreciate it. Y'all, I love you all. Until tomorrow, please come back. We're going to talk about the stimulus stuff again. I just hope that tomorrow we've got some good news. Every time we get some good news, the next day is followed with bad news. Maybe one day this will change and they will wake up and help us and give us the stimulus checks that we need. Other countries are doing it. Why can't we do it? We're the best country in the world. It's supposed to be. Used to be. Y'all, I do love y'all. And I cherish every one of you. Thank you for being here. Until tomorrow, ciao.